All right, who's ready to have a little fun? Another He Played White Wednesday. That's a fun jam, guys, using three chords, D, A, and G. The key to this song, and I talk about this in other songs. By the way, hi, my name is Matt, country song teacher. I try to make guitar fun and easy for the beginner. So on Wednesdays, we do a thing called He Played What Wednesday, where I break off from my name, country song teacher, and do a little classic jam like this one. So what you're going to do, the key is leave that ring finger on that second string. When you find a pivot point, so your D chord is third and bottom, strum the bottom four. I'll talk about this in a second. Sometimes I even lift my middle finger off the bottom string. But there's your D chord. For your A chord, keep that ring finger locked in there. Press the two middle strings of the third of the second fret. Strum the bottom five. And then just add in that pinky finger in the bottom string. Go fifth and sixth, and that's your G. All six. So Kind of do a bass drum. Pluck third and fourth. So pluck down, 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 up. A, down, up. G, down, up. D, down, down, up. A, G. So that quick little transition, just A is, is a, on the A chord. Fifth and fourth. G, back to D. So you're kind of staying on that D chord, for example, in your head, but you're taking a little intermission. A, G. I see bad moon rising. I see. see. Also, you see me going back and forth, taking that, I think it kind of spices up a little, what's called musical dimension. We can take that middle finger on and off that bottom string. Fun little jam, is it not? CCR got a bunch of jam ones. If you want to know like other songs I've taught of theirs, you can type in Country Song Teacher CCR. People ask me every single day, emails, DMs, comments, that kind of thing. Matt, have you taught? Fill in the blank. And I always say, type in Country Song Teacher Luke Combs, Country Song Teacher Creed of the Clearwater, Country Song Teacher Sweet Home Alabama, whatever. And you'll find that I've probably taught it. I've taught so many songs. Too many songs, right? Um, my, my, my son, my eight-year-old the other day, Somebody rec I was getting an oil change and somebody said somebody said, You're your country song teacher. And and I talked to him a second and my eight year old son turned and he said, Dad, why do you want to be popular? <laughs> I was like, I said, How do you know what popular means? <laughs> I was like, Daddy tries to be a blessing, bud. I said, This is what I do for a living. And I use just like when you go to school to learn things to get a job, I said, Daddy's job is to teach people guitar. So he said, Okay. I didn't know why you want to be popular. <laughs> so that's a good question. I'm like, hmm, I don't know. So anyway. <laughs> A lot of times when I go straight to that D, I'll start out even kind of a, with, with just the third and second string. That little half strum, then a full strum, you've got to learn that if you play guitar. Y'all get the point. Fun little song, three three chords, and then of course. Don't 
on a chorus, kind of slow down a little bit. See, I kind of let that pause. Don't That's a fun song. <laughs> hey guys, check out the website, countrysongteacher.com. I had a lot of fun playing that one, in case you couldn't tell. If you want my songbooks, courses, all that fun stuff, go to countrysongteacher.com. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We have a lot of fun on days more than just Wednesday, but extra fun on Wednesdays. I'll see y'all tomorrow for Throwback Thursday. God bless you.